How's it going? I'm back with more arts and crafts adventure. Sure, that's what that's what we'll call it. <laughs> Let me just uh, fix up my desk a little bit here. But yeah, I'm going to be painting this uh, Halloween decoration I've had for a few weeks now. Uh, I got it a little bit before October, so sometime in September I got it from uh, a craft store here in Canada called Michael's. Uh, I was just shopping in there with my mom one day and we came across it and we bought like three of them. My mom got one and I got two. I was only going to get one, but then I saw the one I'm painting today and I was like, I had to get it. So that is what I'm going to be doing. Oops, probably should have turned down the volume of my music. <laughs> I always forget that I have it, like, playing here. That's fine. <laughs> Hopefully you're able to hear me. That's fine. In case you didn't, I'm painting something. <laughs> That's all you need to know. Oh, good. That is perfectly out of the way. And I got Cheerios because I'm hungry. I wasn't hungry, like, all day. And then now I'm hungry. So. That's a thing. All right. Um. Okay, let me grab a few things here first. My little cup of water, which I'm actually just going to put like here. Actually, I kind of want to put it he here so it's out of the way of my water. Mm, no, it's in the way of chat now. Damn you. Okay, fine. We'll put you here. Put my water here, my Cheerios here, and be all good. <laughs> so, the thing I'm going to be painting is this. It's a cool little uh, ceramic uh, pumpkin, as you can see, with like bat wings and bat ears, and yeah. So the other one that, what, yeah, the other ones that I have, uh, my mom picked out a pumpkin, and the cutouts instead of being like your typical jack o' lantern face, the cutouts are flowers, which is really cool. And the other one that I got is a cat. Uh, so it almost, so instead of looking like the shape of a pumpkin, it looks more, I say, like a squash because it's a bit like uh, taller. And uh, the top is, a, of course, the cat head and the bottom part of it has like um, star cutouts. So yeah, but I've decided to paint this one because I'm just going to do a nice simple idea, nothing too complicated. I have my nice mat here that I got um, through um, a nerdy crafter. Uh, I got her not another crap kit box thingy, <laughs> which uh, lets you make like, which gives you the materials to make like sculptures and stuff, which is super cool. So yeah, like out of like these little like figures, actually not little, they're like quite big. I can show you one actually, I have it here. You make it out of uh, plaster and then there's clay inside the box and you can like make additions to it. I'll show it to you. I can get over there. Just give me a sec. <laughs> I have to like hop and skip over my bed. But I can get it. And I will show off what I've started to make. But I have not finished. So yeah. I'm just going to mute my mic. So there's going to be a lot of rustling. So one sec. I have returned. So this is what I've made so far using Nerdy Crafters box. Show it to you like this. So I made the figure out of plaster. She provides the mold and plaster enough to make three figures, I believe. So I made the little figure and it's designed in a way that you can like position the head like any way you want. So it's looking wherever. So I made that and then I decided to do a like phoenix person is what i'm gonna go for so like i made like little things at the top of the head here almost like a crown i made like little things for the ears is what i'm gonna call those <laughs> i did like nice little like thing on the hand here little 
chest piece, I guess. I don't know. Little random things on the feet. Then I made like, so this is like the hair. I made like a cool braid thingy that I wanted to come like across the body. And then the tail. <laughs> Oof, the tail. <laughs> this piece was fun to make, but man, was it kind of complicated. All the little pieces I had to do, and then I had to like cut it in a certain way to make it look like ruffled and yeah. So eventually I'm going to finish it. I have to do the face. Obviously it's blank. So I'm going to do the face and then I'm going to paint it eventually. I have never worked with like plaster or clay before, and this is oven, oven bake clay. And yeah, I've never used these materials before, and I decided to make quite an ambitious project well yeah so i'm eventually gonna finish this and like paint it i was thinking i would paint it on stream but yeah so if i ever do finish it i'll probably paint it on stream one day but yeah that it took me quite a while to do and i'm gonna carefully set it aside because i don't want it to break okay but yeah, actually, let me cross my legs again, because that's how I like to sit. Okay. <laughs> Good. But yeah, so I did that a while ago, and then I got distracted by a bunch of things. I also don't really know how I want to do the face yet, so I'm just, like, waiting to figure that out. I think I'm good position. Actually, I could move over a tiny bit. There we go. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna uh, start painting this thing. I'm just gonna move my mouse a little bit over. But yes, this is what I'm doing today. I'm actually gonna take off my rings because they're gonna hit the ceramic thing over and over and over again. And that would suck. I'm gonna put them safely over here. <laughs> Worst case, they fall on the floor. They're, they'll be fine. They're not breakable rings or anything like that. And it's not like they can really get anywhere that I can't find should I drop them. But anywho, I'm going to take a drink, and then I'm going to get started. <coughs> Wait. You can't see it, and I don't really want to angle the camera right now, but I'm wearing like a jack-o'-lantern shirt. Maybe I'll show it off later, at the end of the stream, when I don't have to keep it pointed here anymore. But yeah, let's, uh, let's paint this guy. Uh, alright. I have a bunch of paintbrushes, some that came with the same uh, Not Another Crap Kit by Nerdy Crafter. They're pretty nice brushes too. Like they feel really good. I haven't used them yet, even though one was missing this one. Because I was testing, so on the clay piece that I have there that I just showed you, the figure, I was testing to see if I could paint it with um, this white primer I have. That my mom had gotten me a, a small can of like a long time ago. I wanted to see if I could like put the white primer over the clay and if it would like uh, dry properly and not chip and stuff like that. And it does. So yeah. So pretty. I like this brush. I might use that one actually for what I have planned here. Anyways, uh, a bunch of different brushes, all kinds of sizes and shapes and fine detailed ones. I have my phone. Let's move that out of the way. I have popsicle sticks, which I did not open, so I should do that. Be careful of this thing, because it has staples. Okay. Yeah, I found these, like, cute little, uh, popsicle sticks from this little discount store that's, like, near my place. I'm gonna use them to, like, mix the paint and I'll use it for like, I mainly got it because I wanted to use them for um, resin, when I do resin stuff. Cause like, yeah. Super easy. So I'm just gonna put like, like hair everywhere. I don't even know how cat hair gets here. The cats aren't even allowed in my room, but it just gets everywhere, man. Everywhere. I don't think I need this many. I'm just gonna pull out a bunch, just in case. Set these carefully aside so they don't fall anywhere. <laughs> uh my paint palette, which I'm actually going to put over here. I'm sorry, mouse. You are now going to go over here. I don't need my mouse necessarily, so we're fine. <laughs> and then I have my paints. 
Oh wait, I have to show this off because this is a giant thing of paints. I got this a little while ago, again from Michaels. It has a bunch of different colors. It's like a nice, easy starter set, we'll call it. I haven't used any of them much, a tiny bit. But yeah, it'll do for my purposes today. So yeah, actually I'm gonna pull this in front of me here. Actually, you know what? We're gonna put you aside for a second and you aside for a second. And these over here for a second. <laughs> We're gonna look at the paints. Let's see what colors I can get out of here. Okay. So obviously, or maybe not obviously, because pumpkins don't have to be orange, but I'm gonna paint mine orange. I'm gonna paint it two different shades of orange. So see how there's like obviously these sections? Did I say oh, yeah. So I'm going to do like alternate like a darker orange and a lighter orange and just go all the way around. The wings and the ears, I'm planning on doing like mostly black and then maybe like a dark purple on the insides and maybe like a darker pink here or just continue with a dark purple. I don't know exactly. Um maybe I'll do a little highlight of black around the eyes. I'm not sure yet. But I don't I really only have a simple plan for this right now. I don't know if I'll add details after I've like actually painted the thing. I might see uh, where my mind takes me. Let's take out my oranges. Let's see if I can find nice oranges just to begin with. Uh, is this portrait pink? It's a very pale color. Very, very pale. I could use it. I got vermilion, which I think is a more like reddy orange. Yeah, like a blood orange, kind of. Uh, let's see. That is a bunch of yellows. And then last row is blues and some metallics. Um, I could mix the oranges with like the metallic white or even metallic black if I need to darken a bit and I can make them metallic-y, right? I don't necessarily, I don't think I want to do that, but maybe I'll do like maybe metallic uh, details after. But yes, we don't need any of these. Let's shove them back in the box. Actually, I think I might stick with those oranges. I'm going to see what they look like first and we'll see if I need to lighten them up or darken or maybe i'll just use the one orange and i'll lighten or darken as i need yeah we'll see if i need to i do have a black and white right there but yeah let's uh put that over there bring you here let's see what we can do i'm gonna move you over a tiny bit Eat more Cheerios. I need sustenance. Okay. Popsicle sticks. I'm just gonna put those over here. I don't need them right now. Okay. Let's see what these look like. And if we need to mix them. Ooh, out. I don't mind having such contrasting colors either. Right? I want to see like how pale this is. Like a little splooch. Yeah, that's like super pale. Maybe I'll mix. What if I do a little bit of that? A little bit of this orange. And then a little bit of white. Let's see what that looks like. That's more white than I was intending. But we're experimenting here. Let's see what kind of orange I want. Mixy, mixy. Let's 
it still comes out quite pale. It's definitely got more of an orange tinge to it, which is nice and what we want. I think I definitely want it more orangey. Let's give it more orange. It's not so fleshy color. Well, my fleshy color, we'll say. <laughs> my super pale fleshy color. Yeah, it's definitely getting more orange, which is nice. I'm gonna put a little bit more, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna put a tiny bit more. And I might lighten up the orange in general a bit more. Yeah, I might put some white into this other orange I got. Here. These little popsicle sticks are super adorable. Right below the sides, give me the orange. Yeah, that's looking a lot more orange and a lot less fleshy. My fleshy pink. My pale, super pale vampire pale butt. In case you didn't know, I'm pale as fuck because I don't go outside. Me and the sun, we don't like each other. Not at all. One second. Mm, maybe that's better. We'll see. I just moved the mic a bit. Actually, it's kind of in my way now. There we go. I have a stand for the mic now, so it kind of just hovers above my butt, which is nice. That's a nice orange. I actually don't mind it kind of pale like that. It's quite lovely. Hopefully that's enough paint. <laughs> we'll figure it out as we go. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna toss this because I have a bunch. I just hit my, not the screen, I hit. <laughs> I hit like the very edge of my computer with the paint, with the popsicle stick. Because the way my two monitors sit, they're kind of like at an angle like that. <laughs> so I just hit the edge of it. <laughs> it's okay. It's acrylic paint. It cleans very easily, so we're fine. All right. So I want a little bit of white, I think, in here. I want to lighten that up. Not too, too much. It shouldn't be too, too much. It will lighten it up. I just want to like, I know there's probably better ways to make it a bit more muted, but oh no, this is going to give me the same thing in it. Well, worst case, I have like two of the same color here, but that's fine. If I need more, I can just put it. So maybe that was too much. I'm not a color mixer. Uh, I probably could have put just like a dash in there. But you know what? It gave me like virtually the same color I have over here, but the tiny bit of difference. You know, if I need more paint of this color, I have. Okay, so I should probably use maybe brown would mute it a bit, actually. Or I just keep it vibrant. Yeah, I can do that. That'd be an interesting, like, contrast to make it, like, make the orange be super bright and then, like, every other panel, it's, like, this kind of the orange, the paler one. Well, I gotta say, the color does not turn up very well on camera. But that's fine. <laughs> Let's not hit anything as I throw out that popsicle stick. Alright, paint. Stay over here. Popsicle sticks. Actually, you know what, Paint? You're gonna come over here. You're all closed, right? Yes. Closed. Beautiful. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, let's let's get to painting. Let me get my paint brush. I think I will start with the one that I had pulled out. It feels so nice and soft. You know a paintbrush is like good when it's like so nice and soft and fluffy. I love it. Okay. Or at least I do. I like the softer versus the rougher paintbrushes. 
All right. More Cheerios. Num 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 num. Okay. Let's start painting this thing. Oh, uh, we'll start with the light. Oh, uh, yeah, start with the light. Nice. Hit my mic stand. <laughs> what else is new, really? I do not have steady hands, so like this is kind of hard. Well, it doesn't necessarily matter if I go over to the other areas because I can just paint it with darker orange, but let's all try, you know? I'll probably have to do more coats than just the one. Which is fine. Looking cute. Me likes. There isn't really a like a joining spot up here actually. I kind of just have to like yes. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Uh, let's do down here a little bit. A little hard to see. Mainly because of how I have my light and everything. This is a really nice paintbrush. That's off to Nerdy Crafter, aka Jackie. He really did curate like some really awesome like materials, like really nice. I don't necessarily want to go and paint under the bottom of it, but yeah. all right, one panel done. Uh, I'm gonna maybe go this way as I paint. Okay, let's continue. Uh, I gotta get around the ear. We'll get there. Don't worry. Why did my my camera go off? The uh, camera? Okay, one second. As I figure out what happened with my camera. That's really strange. Am I still live? I should be. I mean, it says I am. Just my camera froze. Why did my camera freeze? Uh, camera? Properties? There we go. Weird. Why did I do that? I hope there's not, is there like some sort of random setting on my camera? Is it just gonna like turn off? Cause that's weird. I'll keep an eye on it, I guess. And anyways, sorry about that. Don't know why that happened. Is this the, f no, this is not the first time I've actually had this camera on. It is like my newer camera. It's not the first time I've used it. I used it a couple weeks ago when I was doing my nail art stuff. AKA just painting my nails. <laughs> but. And careful. Uh, 
that's weird. We'll keep an eye on that. Maybe it just felt like being difficult. I'm pretty sure it's still... Yeah, I don't think it like accidentally like came sort of unplugged or anything like that. So I don't know. Very strange. Let me hold ya. My pumpkin. Okay. Uh, I need to get over here, actually. Do do do. Just want to get all along the scene. Funny, having the light is like pretty like necessary for like the art stuff, <laughs> but like the way that the shadows fall makes it hard. I know I could like turn on my actual like light that I have in my room, like on the ceiling or whatever, like the proper light, but I prefer to stream in darkness. And so, yeah. <laughs> I like the dark. I don't know, I just don't like bright lights. Maybe I am a vampire. Who knows? Do -do -do -do. Okay. Let's continue down the stripe here. Definitely gonna have to do more than uh, one coat, which is fine. No biggie. There, second one done. Easy peasy. Turn it a bit. Okay, let me grip ya. Let me stick my fingers in your eye hole, Mr. Jack o' Lantern. Actually, only a little bit. There we go. Okay. Oh, yeah, I need to get the point for up there, too. Here. There we go. Oops. Need to get it for like this one, which is a little hard to see. But I can kind of make it out. There. It don't gotta be perfect. It's not like I'm making this for anyone but myself, <laughs> so it can have its imperfections. Okay, I need to get over here now. Actually, let me get closer. Because <sighs> I can probably go a little bit higher over here. Okay, that's fine. Let me move my mic a little bit so I don't hit, hit my head with the mic. <laughs> That'd be unfortunate. It'd be funny, but unfortunate. <laughs> Okay, I did not need this much paint. <laughs> I think I overestimated how much I would need. I always do that when it comes to paint. Like, I either underestimate or overestimate. So, yeah. But that's fine. Come on. There we go. Alrighty. Just fill in this. I really like this orange. It's quite lovely. I'm glad I created it. <laughs> you know, happy accidents. Okay, that one's done. Next section is again by the ear. Let's get the point. 
as best as I can anyways. Like I said, there's like no seams up there, so it's a bit difficult. No indents or anything. I really like these. These are really cool. And they're like, it's from Michael, so like they're meant to be painted. So it's really neat. And they had like all different kinds of ones, like obviously like Halloween themed stuff. I think they had like skulls and whatnot too. Oh, and I forgot, they, uh, I forgot to tell you, they light up too, which is pretty neat. I'll show that off in a moment. After I get down here. Yeah. Oops. Don't move. Don't move, my dear. I actually really like my camera's position right now. It's definitely better than how I had it in the past. At least for this project. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's get the rest of this. Always interesting how like a little bit of paint, like how far a little bit goes. Carefully reach over to some Cheerios. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Okay. Last one for this orange. Or first coat too. Hmm. I'm gonna be careful, it's a little hard to see over here. Where the ear is. Okay. Uh, and again, I have to kind of get the seam, up, <clears throat> the seam up here. Probably about there. Looks right. Looks pretty cute. Oops. Okay, let's continue down here. Down to the mouth. Okay. I was actually talking to uh, one of my writer slash art friends. We uh, met through, like, through a Facebook group full of writers and stuff like that. And she has like a couple books published and whatnot, but she's primarily a painter, an artiste. And yeah, we were just chatting a bit today. She uh, she was putting up some stuff on her Patreon because she shows off her. She has a Patreon for her artwork. Which is super cool. Yeah, her art, her paint, her artwork is really nice. I really like her pieces when she does, um, she'll do, uh, like, starry night-themed kind of stuff. Like, it's really hard to ex describe her art, like, what she does. Like, some of the pieces she's had are, um, they'll be like a human face, although it's like a cartoonish cartoony art style like it's her her art her her specific cartoony like art style not exactly anime but like you, you get what i mean it's not real life drawing of people anyways and then uh so she'll do that and then maybe like as like incorporated into the image like maybe through the hair or just like as a background thing she'll do like a starry night kind of background thingy 
kind of kind of hard to explain where I'm going at. You'd have to see it, but, <laughs> but yeah, she, she does. She's done some like really awesome artwork. I really like it. I'm not just saying that because she's my friend. Like legit, nice artwork. And she paints it like on canvases, canvases and stuff. Actually, this is already dry. I could do my second coat. So I'm gonna, let's do that. Let's do the second coat. Uh, no, I'll do the second coat after. Let me clean my brush. Oh, sorry, that may have been loud. My bad, I'll not do that. <laughs> I'll do both. I'll paint it all and then I'll do the second coat. Makes more sense. Okay. Brush nice and clean. Let's do the brighter orange and see how that looks. Okay. Now let's get started. I'll do this side first. Actually, I probably could have gone a little bit higher with the other one. That's fine. Okay. This is actually really nice. Gotta get up here a little bit. Yeah, definitely gonna need more than one coat. For both. But yeah. Just fine. He can definitely do more than one coat. Okay. And it'll look even better once we get more coats on here. Oh, come on, stand up. Let me get down here a bit. Let's get this side. Yeah, I am by no means an artist in any way. <laughs> I prefer crafting versus art, like drawing and stuff like that. I can't draw. I can get by with like very minimal, easy stuff, <laughs> like, <laughs> but I am by no means <laughs> An artist. I find crafting to be a lot easier, so. For me, anyways. <laughs> I think, like, some artwork or some mediums, I should even say, like, if you're learning to draw and stuff like that, obviously you have to learn it, right? And. I don't really have that in me. <laughs> I don't mind learning, but like, you have to be like dedicated, you know, or like really want to do it. And I don't want to do it that badly. <laughs> Nothing wouldn't be fun to learn how to draw. Like certain things or whatever, or in certain styles, like anime, of course. <laughs> but it's not my thing. It's not my form of art. Oh, hey, Jaden. Cheerios? Yeah. I was hungry, man. I needed some food. And Cheerios is the easiest thing to snack on on stream. 
Yeah, you just easy. Just take one, pop it in my mouth, and I'm good to go. <laughs> How you doing, Jaden? Lovely to see you again. It's fine. I can paint over it. Easy to paint over a mistake. But yeah, I, like I was saying, I am not an art person. I prefer my crafts. I think it's because, like, I am a hands-on person. Like, that's why I prefer to work in, like, warehouses, for example, when I have a job. Or when I'm looking for jobs and stuff like that. I learn by doing. And like artwork, if you're like learning to draw and stuff like that, you have to be, not that you necessarily have to, have to be precise, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> there are like, I guess, certain rules you have to follow until you figure out like your own style and all that. So, and there are some things that like, I mean, you can play around with like anatomy and how like you want characters to look if you're doing like a more of a cartoony style but there's like basics to learn first you know what i mean i just don't have it in me i can kind of get away with sort of anime characters but nothing like complicated and certainly nothing in like the digital art space like there are some artists that are so good at, like, using Photoshop to, like, uh, color their artwork or whatever. Like, they use, like, they color it digitally. Mm-mm. <laughs> I can't. If I had a tablet, maybe, because then, obviously, you're not using your mouse. And you're actually using, like, a stylus or a pen or whatever. That would make it a lot easier. I thought about it off and on getting like an art tablet. Like a tablet I can do art with, like digital art. Even if it's something simple is all I'm doing. I've thought about it. Maybe one day, but they can be quite expensive. So that is not something I'm looking forward to anytime soon. <laughs> It's not a priority, you know? So, we'll see. Eh, it's probably something in the distant future. Maybe I'll put it as a sub-goal at some point. But not anytime soon. Let me start hitting some of the sub-goals I already have and then we'll talk. <laughs> but yeah. Okay. <sighs> That one's done. It definitely looks way better off camera than it does on camera. <laughs> this camera's not the best for artwork. Uh, colors don't show up as they should, but yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> I gotta get into the ear. It'll be fine. And I gotta get up here. Um, 
I could probably use a thinner brush to get here better, but that's fine. Be good. It's good for a first coat. Where's Thane at these days? Uh, if Storm is still streaming, then he's probably watching Storm play Metroid. Because I was there for a little bit as well before I came on, before I streamed myself, so. But if you're talking in general, he's always on Discord, so. <laughs> but yeah, he's probably watching uh, Storm play Metroid. If Storm is still streaming. Mm -hmm. I gotta watch actually speaking of storm and metroid i have to watch his vods still because he streamed for quite quite a while yesterday so i want to like watch his vods because i've never played a metroid game and i'm not gonna play dread so i want to watch him play it Uh, just asking because he usually is, is usually always in here. Uh, not lately. It's been, I don't know, for a while now he's, he's popped up like from time to time, but, uh, he isn't all, well, he may be, he might be lurking, but he hasn't really been too active in chat for a while now. So, sometimes he does like pop up every once in a while. That's why I'm thinking he's just lurking most of the time. So yeah. Mm. Ooh. But I cannot see if he's lurking because I have no idea. <laughs> so <laughs> I just assume because sometimes they'll just like pop up randomly. So, and then I can also see like the viewer count. I can, all I can see is the viewer count. So I'm assuming it's him or like my cousin Steve <laughs> who like lurks. I know Shadow does. So, yeah. Let me take a drink. I think there's a way I can see who's actually like lurking and stuff like that, but I think I have to be on a specific screen. Like, I know as a mod you can see that kind of stuff, but I don't know how I can. I probably have to like go to Twitch and somehow do that, but I'm not really on Twitch when I'm streaming. I'm using uh, Streamlabs. Nice nails, oh thank you. I painted them a couple weeks ago. I like did a, well they're kind of chipping now on this one hand, but I did um, like I randomized what colors I was gonna use. That's why they're like kind of all over the place. That was fun. I had no idea what colors I wanted to do. So I used the random number generator to pick the colors for me. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah, I did a lot, did that on stream. Because why not? I'm gonna paint around the eye. I screwed up a little bit, that's fine. When I go over the second coat, no one will know of the mistakes. <laughs> it's 
So how have you been, Jaden? What's up with you? Just a little bit here. There you go. And just gotta get down here. And then the first coat will be done. Playing Rocket League. You're tired though. <laughs> Well, it is late. I mean, midnight is late for some people. <laughs> Rocket League is cool. I've never played it, but I've seen people play it before. Okay. And that is the first coat. Definitely have to do a second coat. But yeah. I can start the second coat on the lighter color now. And see what it looks. See how it looks. But yeah. I don't know if I could ever play something like Rocket League. I'm not of much of a, like multiplayer competitive gamer even when i did like league of legends <laughs> i wasn't really like competitive with it i just had fun which you know is not the point of that game apparently uh people get very butt hurt when you just want to have fun <laughs> so <laughs> i don't really play league of legends anymore I haven't for a long time <laughs> Okay. Right. Which may need to hit that. Okay, let's uh let's go back to the lighter orange. Second coat, let's go. I gotta get like up here. I'm gonna try and be a bit more precise, but I can always clean it up after. I'm gonna go along the seam as best as I can. Take my time with it this time. I think I may only need the two coats, so. Let's do it this way. Okay, should be fine. <laughs> uh, I think Thane's commands are like, if you just type in his name Thane, as long as it's the first word in your sentence. And I think he also has an exclamation mark Thane, if you want to like prompt that. Oh, you say we're hungry and got a fucking half cup, cup of Cheerios. I mean, yeah, that's all I need. There you go. There's the command. It's all I need, man. It's all I need. <laughs> Half cup of Cheerios. It'll do for now. Basically, it's just to tide me over while I'm streaming. <laughs> like, 
not like this is a proper meal or anything. But it'll do for now. Yeah, two coats is definitely needed, and two coats works. I can hear one of my cats playing with a ball outside of my door. <laughs> did he put it inside my room? Oh, he did. Oh, my poor kitty. He pushed the ball underneath my door. <laughs> he can't reach it now and I can't get it for him. I'm kind of... Oops, I'm kind of trapped right now with how my setup is. Unfortunately. <laughs> so, he's gonna have to go find another toy to play with. I mean, I could go get it. I'd have to go a roundabout route to get it. But I can't, I can't push my desk away from my bed where I'm sitting to go get the ball. Lower it here. My poor kitty. It's okay. Go find another toy to play with. <laughs> I have so many. I spoil my kitties. <sighs> I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna start behind the ear. And then I'll do the upper part after. <laughs> uh, this is dry, yeah. I need to tilt it a bit more so I can see. There we go. Not too bad, not bad at all. I wanna get in here too now. There we go. <laughs> That'll work. Now let me get up here too. Oh, did he put the other? No, he didn't, okay. My cat's so funny. He's a silly one. Oops, don't hit my mic. I can't see actually with that angle. <laughs> Blocking my light. That still blocks my light. That's not good. Okay, I'm to improvise. Hold it at a weird angle. Okay, there we go. That's good enough. Once I do the second coat of the uh, darker orange, it'll be fine. <laughs> okay. Let's do down here now. Take my time with it. Come here. I have another one of these to paint, like I was saying earlier. I don't know how I'm going to paint it, though. The cat one I have. 
because it has like stars and stuff as the cutouts I kind of want to do like a star theme like a night theme and not like so much Halloween-y but we'll see I don't know if I'll do it on stream either we'll see where my mood takes me essentially I have a lot of projects and ideas for my art streams so yeah <laughs> lots of ideas in my head I'll eventually get them all done but then more ideas spring up and it never it just never, never ends. There's <laughs> so many ideas all the time. Which is good, I'll never run out of projects to do. But then I run into the problem of not knowing what I want to do because I have so many to choose from. Nice. Okay. A little rough up there, but that's fine. Next. Okay. I still don't know if I'm gonna do any like other designs on this one or if I'm just gonna keep it kind of plain. I don't know what I wanna do. I didn't mean to go over there. Fine. Mm hmm. that works well okay painting is hard when you're like when you have shaky hands <laughs> like I do that's why I don't really strive for like perfection in my when I do art stuff uh, precision is hard when you're shaky. <sighs> Diax! What's up? Hey, Diax. How you doing? Hand stream? <laughs> it's more of an art stream, but sure, dude. Whatever. <laughs> How you doing, Diax? It's been a hot minute since I've seen ya since we've chatted like this uh, nothing much just got back from a run oof running sounds like effort <laughs> but that's cool yeah it's been a while <laughs> i've been super busy with school then work Ah, you've been busy. I see, I see. Makes sense. Makes perfect sense. <laughs> That's cool. God, you talking about running just reminds me I have to, like, work out on my bike. I have to do that. I'm down to, uh... So I've been trying to, like, lose a little bit of weight. I'm down to, um... 163? Yeah, I'm down to 163 pounds. I lost like a couple the last time I weighed myself, which was a couple weeks ago, maybe? Something like that. So, I'm doing good, taking my time with it. The important thing is, is I'm not gaining weight. So like, even if I, so I weigh myself every uh, Monday morning. And my goal is to at least not gain weight. So if I'm at least uh, the same as the prior week, then I'm happy with that, you know? I'm not in like a speed run with weight loss. <laughs> nice gear for you, gotta enjoy the progress. Exactly. That's why I weigh myself every week instead of like every day. Because every day, I f you don't really see the progress, you know? 
But if you, you know, weighing myself every week, I can see it. At least the numbers on the scale, you know? And like I said, I'm not in any rush to lose the weight. So I just take my sweet ass time. And yeah. And I don't like do much either to lose weight. So. <sighs> Sub goal. Yeah. Get in there. Slowly. I've had some like super awesome people like gift me subs a few times, which has like blown my freaking mind. Because <laughs> I was just not expecting that. <laughs> it always like, even when people just like sub in general, I'm just like so surprised. Like if it's people that like I don't talk to regularly in Discord kind of thing, like the friends I've made <laughs> through streaming. When it's just like random people who come in here and just like, like my streams and then they sub and I'm like you sub to me <laughs> were you mistaken like it just it kind of still blows my mind <laughs> but it's super cool and then I've had a couple people like gift subs like what I'm super surprised when that happens every time but it's super cool and super super generous of people and I love them for it but yeah What's cool is that I was able to get to, because of the generosity I was talking about, I was able to get my uh, extra emote, so. Because I did get to 15 subs at one point, so I was able to get my emote slot. So I do have an extra one now, which is nice. But, you know, gifted subs run out. That's why I'm back down to my 10. But I think the 10s are like reoccurring too now, so that's like super awesome. Yeah, it is amazing, Jaden. What's even more is amazing, I'm finally, like, very close to my first payout from Twitch. Because, like, you have to have, uh, $100 in order to get Twitch to pay you out. Like, accumula accumulatively? Yeah. I'm finally almost at that point. I'm, like, at $80 or something since I started. What's a payout? Oh, uh, so Twitch doesn't pay you, like... So Twitch does pay you every month, but you have to hit a minimum of $100 accumulative over, like, all time kind of thing. So, since I, since I became affiliate in June, uh, I've gotten $80. So, once I hit $100, I'll get my first payout from Twitch, which is really sweet, because... I didn't think it would happen, <laughs> like, ever. <laughs> so, pretty exciting. That's sick. Yeah, it really is. Like, I, it still surprises me. That, like, I've come this far, we'll say. <laughs> but, yeah. You know, that people enjoy my content or at least want to, like, help support, you know, to that extent. It's really awesome. Let me get the corner there. Doc hasn't been streaming. No, Doc is fired. I'm firing Doc because he's not streaming. No, I'm joking. <laughs> you know, I was bugging him about it. He's just been busy with, like, work and then apparently funerals and stuff, so... He hasn't been streaming and it's super sad because I like watching Doc play games. A lot of the games that he plays are games that I would never play myself, so I watch him play them. <laughs> so, yeah. Plus, I think Doc is a decent, like, pretty good streamer, actually. You know, I think he's, like, pretty entertaining and engaging and stuff like that. So I think he does a really good job streaming. So it sucks that, like, he doesn't do it as much. But I get it if he's, you know, tired from work and busy from work and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, you guys went to the funeral. Yeah. 
Yeah, he was talking a bit about it. And then I saw his post on Facebook about it. About your grandmother, I believe it was, yeah. So. It is what it is, you know? I'm surprised he's not streaming Dread, though. I thought he was going to, or I thought he would have, because that would have made sense, but... Maybe he decided not to or whatever, but yeah. That's fine. But yeah, let's put it this way. If I had a job, I would not be streaming. Because I tried that. Uh, got a few years back when I... The first time I tried doing the whole YouTube Let's Play streaming thingy. Uh, I did fine because I, well, I was unemployed at the time, so I was able to, you know, do it full time as I should. And then uh, I got a job, so I couldn't do streaming YouTube stuff anymore, plus a day job. Like a full time nine to five kind of job, so I couldn't do both, so I had to stop. And now I found myself unemployed again, so that's why I started streaming again. Because, <laughs> why not? <laughs> Plus, it's much easier nowadays to, like, I don't know. Not necessarily, like, let's see. What I'm trying to say is back in the day, that first time I did it, like, I think eight or so years ago, the landscape was different, right? Like, you kind of had, not the, you kind of had to be part of a, um, a company in a way whatever they were called that are now actually kind of bad and people don't do that anymore <laughs> but yeah because like if you got hit with copyright strikes the company you're with could like protect you against that but then they also take a cut of uh what you make or whatever but they kind of help push you a bit but like we learned in the years since then, but that's not a good idea, so people don't do that anymore. <laughs> but yeah. I actually got decent views on my stuff back then, too, when I was first doing the whole YouTube streaming thing. I did, of course, I started off with doing Diablo 3 content. <laughs> and, uh, oops. And I was posting videos to YouTube. I wasn't, I wasn't streaming, really, at that point. I was just uh, making Let's Plays for YouTube for the most part. And yeah. It was pretty fun. Didn't really make any money because making money off of YouTube is hard. And I didn't really do much with streaming. I don't even know. I don't think like affiliate and all that stuff was a thing at that point. This was like years ago. So yeah, it's not like what it was nowadays. Where it's like, kind of easy. I mean, sure, it is like, it is a bit of a challenge to like get affiliate in the sense of, oh, my that's okay. In the sense of like, it can be a little hard to get the follows and the views when you're first starting out. And then like, it's, it's not, easy easy but it's definitely easier than what it was how things worked back in the day we'll say so i'm super happy that you know at least there's a lot more potential for people to make money doing twitch and stuff like that I'm trying to see the seam here try and get this top part it's a little difficult but yeah I'm glad it's so much easier. I'm also glad that, like, you don't even have to do, like, gaming, really, on Twitch anymore. Like, you can do so many things. Like, not, like, artwork, for example. You can do, like, DJ. There's a category for that. Like, there's so many things now, and it's so, so awesome, and I love it. I love the diversity. And I love that so many people can just, like, share what they love, what they're passionate about, and it doesn't have to be video games. It's super cool. 
But yeah. Mm -hmm. Kind of get over here. Go slow so I don't make too much of a mess. But yeah, I wanna I wanna stream more. So I've I've added Animal Crossing to my uh, schedule, and I want to do that because I want to stream more. I mean, I I can, so like, why why not, right? I want to do that, but streaming during the day can be a bit difficult, especially because I have other things that I do. But I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna commit myself more fully to streaming. I'm not giving up on my books, but I'm giving up on publishing them. You want to stream more? Yeah. Yeah, I was streaming twice a day for like a little bit there. But yeah, but I pulled back because I was going to work on my books a bit more, but in all honestly, in all honesty, it's hard to get anywhere when you, like, uh, as a writer, like, publishing and stuff like that. And it's kind of sucks when you put so much work into, like... Not just writing the book, but even like the business side of it, because I'm self-published, so all the marketing and advertising and then putting all the time and money into that and then doesn't like get you anywhere. <laughs> so I'm tired of putting effort into like publishing if it's not really doing anything for me. So instead, I'm just gonna write my books for me. I'm not gonna look to publish them. And yeah, and that's that. Which means I have to change up my Patreon, because my Patreon is all about my books, and I can change it up to be more of a streaming thing, like Twitch and YouTube and whatnot. But I haven't figured out what I'm going to do yet. I know I don't want to cancel my Patreon at, like altogether, but I will change it. And if I know that I have like one person on Patreon who actually reads my stuff, who also pops up in my chat sometimes... <laughs> and is on discord so for him i'll just put the like either email him the uh, book when it's done or uh put it in discord if the file's not too big because discord there's like a limit on how big the files can be if you're sending them in discord but yeah that's what i was thinking shadow shadow fox what I'm making? Uh, so this is... One second, let me just dry my paintbrush. <laughs> this is a ceramic uh, Halloween decoration that I found at Michael's, which is a Canadian art store. Like, arts and crafts store. So yeah. And it's meant to be painted. <laughs> like, that's the whole point of it. And it lights up, which is super cool. So yeah. I bought, I bought two of them and my mom bought one. Like they look different. So my mom's is a pumpkin, but instead of having a jack-o'-lantern face, it has like flower cutouts. And then I have another one that looks more like a shape of a squash, like more ovally shaped and it's a kitty. You have a Michaels down here? Oh, okay. I know it's primarily Canadian though. I do know that, or at least like it started in Canada, but. You're overdue for Halloween fall decor visit. <laughs> right? Michael's has some really good shit. It can be a bit expensive, but it's nice. Yeah, so there's the second coat of the lighter orange. I wish the colors would show up better on stream, I will say. But that's fine. I take pictures of everything I do here and put them on my Discord to show off, so... Winners too. <laughs> yeah. How you doing this lovely night, Shadow, my dear? <clears throat> Let me take a drink real quick. Okay. 
let's uh let's do the other orange now second coat now let's start with over here one time it took me to pick up some floral stuff to make a wreath oh yeah michael's is a good place to get that but he didn't want to stay and pick stuff out, so he just kept stuffing things in a basket. And I was like, eh, go find a use for it. <laughs> Spent over $100 on florals that day. I didn't know that was possible. Michael's, not only is it expensive, but it has a lot of stuff. And yeah, he's right. You can find a use for, like, pretty much anything you buy there. It's great. <laughs> I love Michael's. It's such an awesome craft, arts and craft store. It's like usually my first go-to for things. And if I can't find it at Michael's, then I go, like, I look online, in particular Amazon. Because if Michael don't have it, the Zon will, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. Must be talking resin stuff. Resin stuff, I use a website called Sophie and Toffee because I love that website. I love Sophie and Toffee. But yeah. Michael's, it's so easy to spend so much money in there. Like, especially if you have, like, that creative, imaginative mind. If you're that kind of person, you can, you, it's crazy. <laughs> There's, like, so much there. <laughs> So, so much. I love it. <sighs> You're not a creative person, but you do your best. That's fine. That's the great thing about, like, arts and crafts and shit you kind of kind of just do whatever you want i mean sure sometimes there are like some rules to follow but like it's really just for the basics once you have like the basics down of a particular art or craft style you just do whatever you want you have to have a lot of inspiration pictures and ideas first ah yeah, I definitely don't have that problem. <laughs> I have a very overactive imagination, which is great when you're a creative person like myself. Or a writer. <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. So, <laughs> I've never had a problem coming up with, like, ideas and stuff like that. I have the problem of having too many ideas. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's my issue. Too many ideas and not sure which one to pick. This paint is really nice. I like it. <laughs> Probably if I were more of like an artist versus a crafter, like if I were like if I was drawing something or painting something, then maybe I would need inspiration, but it also would depend on what I'm drawing and painting. Like if I need like a visual like, if I'm drawing, like, a person, for example, I'm very bad at, like, perspectives and stuff like that. So if I were to draw a person, even in, like, a cartoon anime style or something like that, I would need, like, a visual reference. Because that I can't just do at the top of my head. And I know a lot of artists, they uh, need visuals, too. Like, references, I should say. But I also don't have the patience, <laughs> so... <laughs> but yeah. I used to draw a lot more, like, anime characters back when I was, like, in high school. I used to draw, like, my characters that I would... So, I wrote a lot of fanfiction, because <laughs> that's how I started writing. And then I eventually expanded into, like, my more original stuff, so I'd want to draw my characters from... My books that I would write and stuff like that. 
I draw them in anime style. I sucked at it. The odd time I would do a decent picture, but I really sucked at it, so. <laughs> Most of the time I would just find an image I liked on the computer, like someone else has already drawn or like an official piece of artwork of like anime characters and I would just like trace over it and you know, change like a little bit of like the hair and eye color and style and stuff like that to make it look like my character. I never ever published them online. I've never ever claimed that someone's artwork was mine. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> Whenever I traced a picture, like I kept it for myself, you know what I mean? It was for my eyes only and anything I ever put, put online like on DeviantArt was my own original stuff. Just saying, <laughs> I just, just wanna put that out there because there have been a lot of uh, plagiarism shit going on in the art community. And I never did that because that's bad. And if I were to ever trace someone's picture and put it online, I would say that I did and like I'd post the original picture and links to the person and all that shit. Like I would never claim it as mine, you know what I mean? Because that's a dick move. But anyways, disclaimer over. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Yeah, I used to draw a lot back in the day. I like, if I have to draw something, I prefer to like draw random abstract things, like nothing... You know what I mean? Just, cause then I can just do whatever I want, you know what I mean? And that's more of, or like random abstract like patterns or stuff like that. That's more of like my kind of artwork. Yeah, you saw some of that, where it was clearly someone else's art with a couple of changes here and there, yeah. See, I would do that back in high school when I was like, you know, learning to draw and stuff like that. But like I said, I've never ever claimed it as my own. Cause, like why do that? Like, <laughs> just learn to draw. And if, you know, I mean, some people need to trace to learn how to draw, and that's fine, but then just don't claim it as your own. You know what I mean? If the original artwork is someone else's, don't be a dick. I mean, especially don't post it online and say it's yours, like, it's gonna get found out, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is the internet. People will find out. But yeah. Makes me sad when people do that. Like, as an artist and in gen- and just in general. Cause it would suck if like, someone just comes along and like, plagiarizes your work claiming it is theirs. Like, that's such a dick move. But yeah. It is what it is. People be people. But they always get caught in the end whenever something like that happens in the art community. It gets found out. I've seen so many like YouTube videos of like exposing stuff like that. It's really interesting to watch. I may have to do a third coat of this orange because it's a bit streaky. We'll see. Actually, I probably will, because it does look a bit splotchy and streaky, so... I may have to do a third coat of this orange. <laughs> oh, okay, I gotta get into the ear. Well, sort of into the ear. A bit tricky with how I have my light angled, but it's fine. <laughs> I do my best. My microphone's in the way. Oh no. It's okay. Like I said, this is just for me, so there can be mistakes. It doesn't have to look perfect. Mm. 
and it'll still look super cute in the end, flaws and everything. And that's all that matters, is that it looks super cute in the end. Okay, I really need to get over here now. This is a bit tricky. Okay. Top's a bit hard to do because the lines kind of, or the grooves kind of vanish, but eh, it's fine. <laughs> okay. Continuing down here. Don't touch that. I'm gonna just stick my finger in your eye, dude. I'm sorry. Gotta kinda happen though. Microphone, you're in my way. I gotta stand for my mic, so it's kinda just like hanging above me instead of sitting on my desk. Which is nice to have it out of the way, I will say. And it wasn't very expensive either, which is what I like about it. <laughs> Nothing like super high-end or anything like that either, just needed something simple. And it works, and that's all that matters. But yeah, I'm gonna put more effort into my streams, or not, not necessarily more effort, I think I put in a, like, it's not like I don't put in enough effort, I just mean I'm gonna, like, put more of my time into streaming. And yeah, I'm gonna, like, just stream more in general. I wanna go back to doing afternoon streams. So yeah. I'm gonna do that. Although I might not do it every day. I gotta, I gotta put that in the panels that my afternoon streams are not like guaranteed to happen. Because, yeah, I need to, need a slow transition into them. And every day might be a bit much during the day. But yeah, I want to stream more, so I'm gonna stream more. I thought about like streaming for longer than my like two hour ish time, but streaming longer for two hours can be a bit exhausting. Like, I get, I get very fidgety, and, like, it's hard to sit still, and doing, like, playing the same game for that long. Actually, just sitting still and playing a game for that long is a bit much, especially, like, on stream and whatnot. I'm not really there yet, we'll say. <laughs> and I like, I like my two-hour time slots, you know? Especially because I can easily just upload the VODs onto YouTube, and done. Instead of doing like, uploading five, six hour streams, two, two and a half hours is like a good chunk. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna stick to my two hours. That works for me. But like I said, I might just stream more. Well, I might, I'm going to. Gonna happen. And I can stream during the day, so I should. Oops. Gotta get over here. Okay. Uh, I gotta get along this seam. Gotta be slow. Oh 
Oh, yeah, I mentioned I was talking to, like, my artist friend earlier today. And uh, she was talking how another friend of hers is trying to convince her to do, like, live streaming and stuff like that, like, focused on her artwork and whatnot. And I totally agree. She should totally, she should totally stream. Her computer just can't handle it right now, so. <laughs> but, yeah. I think she might do some gaming stuff, too, because she's also a gamer. But yeah, it'd be really cool if she could hop on and do this as well. It'd be super cool. I would tell all of y'all to like follow and watch her. How to make you guys do it. Because she's pretty cool. I likes her. <laughs> Yeah. It'd be nice to meet her one day, legit. We met, like, through a Facebook group. It'd be nice to, like, meet her in person one day. She lives in the States. Maybe one day. Who knows? Who knows? To get this corner or not corner but this top part of the pumpkin mm, probably best to go like this come here come here pumpkin Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm gonna I'm thinking I'm gonna have to do a third coat of this. I can't believe it's been like an hour and forty minutes already. I know I started painting I think fifteen minutes into the stream, I think I saw. After I did the introductions and all that. Damn. Surprised how long this is taking. Maybe I'll do it in two streams. I can. Not like I can't. Totally can. Maybe that's what I'll do. Hmm. I love that I'm using like acrylic paint too because it dries so fast. Not bad paint either. Like, I'm not expert on, like, paint quality or anything like that, but it does the job fairly well. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I at least want to get the orange done if I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to finish it today, or tonight. Actually, the lighter orange is already done, so it's not like I would have to mix it again. And the other orange I'm using is like straight from the tube, not mixed, so... Makes my life easier. But yeah, I didn't want to do anything too complicated with this painting, with this paint job. I don't know if I'm gonna like add designs to the pumpkin, I was thinking about it. We'll see. Maybe by the time I come back next week to finish this, I will have a decision. Yeah, I'm not gonna finish it tonight. Hmm. 
Okay. Let's do this. Mere paint. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Really nice color, this orange. It's too bad it doesn't show up nicely on the camera. <laughs> Which I'm gonna keep commenting about, damn it, because I keep looking up and seeing it and it's not so so nice. <sighs> Makes me sad, but it's okay. There's only so much I can do with the camera I got, so it's fine. I will take pictures once it is complete and post them in Discord. I'll take the pictures using my phone, so yeah, <laughs> it'll be so much better. <sighs> it's a good thing my camera hasn't frozen like it did earlier, that was weird. Very weird. Okay. We get up here around the ear. Yep. Mm. Okay, there we go. Not so bad around the ear. Super concentration mode. And I'm just being very careful along the uh, indent here of the pumpkin. I also never know what to talk about. That's why playing games is just so much easier because I can just like talk about the game and what I'm doing. You know what I mean? It's just so much easier. <laughs> I don't have to like think up the conversation. Conversations are difficult. Especially when you're kind of talking to yourself. It's maybe a harder way of doing this. Actually, it's not so bad. Just kind of have to hold it in a way so I don't touch the paint that I just applied on the other sections. You know what? Go like this. That's a little easier. <laughs> there we go. Okay, now I can just easily just paint, 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 paint. This would have been so much easier if I would have just, you know, done something normal and painted it all one color. But no, I had to be extra and be like, there's an even number of good slices? Sir, slices. <laughs> Why not be extra and complicated and do them all different color well not all different color but two different colors 
and make things more complicated. I mean, it's gonna look great when it's done. But the process... <laughs> I'm having fun painting. I am. I really am. <laughs> okay, one more. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to do... Oh, shit. I let it sit on the uh, mat for too long. Ew. Ew. <laughs> Cover the imperfection. Got a little down here too. I let it rest on the mat and it wasn't quite dry. I must be careful. But it's fine. All the other sides are fine though. Okay, let's not do that. <laughs> I'm almost done with the orange I have left in here. We don't have to squirt out more. So hopefully it's enough. Especially since I'm not doing the third coat tonight. Definitely not. <laughs> To get this part here. Eh, it's not so bad up there. Could be better, but like I guess that's a bit tricky to get up there. So that's fine. Get around the ear. Okay. Okay, let's uh, set you up like that. Rest on your wing. The wings might be easier to paint. Uh, actually, not so much where they actually touch the pumpkin. That'll be a little bit difficult. But I will have to be careful because the wings are going to be like black and dark purple, so... Oh, I touched the paint with my hand. <laughs> it's acrylic paint. It comes off super easily. So no worries. Who's worried? No one's worried. We good. I've never used, like, oil paints before, though. I don't know how I feel about oil paints. Like acrylic. I mean, I've never tried oil paint, so, like, I don't know, but... <laughs> they also take, like, a really long time to dry. I think you have to be in, like, a decently ventilated area, too. At least for like the painting itself. Because it takes a long time to dry and all that, so. It also has to be in a place where it can dry for a long time. But I know you can like mess with it a lot more than with like an acrylic painting. So yeah. <sighs> no, my paint. My lovely paint. Damn, I'm gonna have to put a little bit more. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Crap. Don't paint brush. Don't move. I have to put a tiny bit more of orange in here. Like a tiny smidge. Tiny. Tiny. Sure. Sure. Probably more than I need. <laughs> like so much more. But the paint wanted to come out, so we will let it. Okay. 
Luckily, I don't have to mix this one. It's just straight from the tube. Okay. And now I can just paint. Easy peasy. There we go. Nice. I mess up anywhere else? Oh, a little bit on this edge. I leaned it on the uh, mat. Okay, everything else is good now? I think so. A little touch up there. But this orange is going to get another coat, so... We good. Sit on your ears for a second. I'm not going to do the bottom. It's fine. But there. That's... I'm going to have to do another coat of the darker orange. That looks like a bit streaky and splotchy. So I'll have to do that. But that will be next week. I am done with this for tonight. I'm also going to think about if I want to do like any extra designs and stuff. But yeah. Clean my paintbrush, make it all pretty. A little bit more. Okay. Paintbrush all nice and clean. And yeah, I'm all clean too. <laughs> no, no paint on me. <laughs> yeah, this is it so far. Like I said, the colors don't come out quite as nice on camera, but it is what it is. Once I'm like completely done, I will show it off in Discord. But for now, this is it. Can't believe it took me so long just to do that. <laughs> like it doesn't seem like much. <laughs> Well, yeah. Uh, so yeah, next week uh, on Saturday, I will do the third coat of the darker orange, and I'll also do the wings and the ears, and maybe do decorations on it of some kind. I don't know. Ooh, but also, I didn't show what it looks like uh, all lit up, so I should do that. And I'm gonna turn off. I'm gonna turn off the light that I have so you can see it. I don't know if it can if it'll, if it'll show up nicely, but oh, it actually kind of doesn't. Oh wait, maybe maybe that will be a bit better. Sort of. Making it's a bit hard with the with it lighting up, but basically. It uh, lights up in rainbow colors. Well, you can kind of see the green. But yeah, it's a bit hard to see on camera. But it transitions through the rainbow of colors. Oof, bright. But yeah, that's my pumpkin. I'm going to continue it, like I said, next week. And yeah. <laughs> So thank you guys for watching uh my next stream will be tomorrow night at 11 p.m est i will be continuing with loop hero so yeah i'm still doing that game which is super fun i love it so yeah that's the plan uh, like I was saying, I'm gonna try to do more streams like during the day. I'm planning on doing afternoon streams again, starting at like one o'clock. Um, yeah, 
So far I just have plans to do Animal Crossing every day <laughs> during my afternoon streams. But they're not guaranteed, because we'll see. <laughs> More than likely I will do them, but yeah. Anywho... Actually, let me grab my mouse so I can like have my mouse here and like do this properly. Go over there, paint. Yeah, anywho, <laughs> have a good day or a good night, whatever time it is for you. My lovely, lovely droplets. And thank you for being here, hanging out and chilling and watching me paint a thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anywho, I will see you next stream, whenever that may be. Bye!